Hi, this is Jason with Days Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This week we're going to go over how to change Chrome appearance settings. That's right, your Chrome has an appearance setting. This has to do with your toolbar on top and a few other um, choices like theme and stuff like that. I'm going to show you how you can um, find the appearance settings and how to adjust them in this video. Before we get going, hit the like on this video. It really helps our channel. Also hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. We come out every Thursday. That's right, I've been 100% this year. So check back every Thursday and you will find something new to learn. Um, last week we went over how to set Chrome to ask before downloading. As you notice, I, I scrolled down to remember what it was. How to set Chrome to ask before downloading. Basically, I showed you how you can have it ask you every time where to download. And I will put a link down below so you can go check that out. And like always, I have a article I already wrote on this. As you can see right here, I'll put a link down below too for that. So let's get started. First thing you want to do to get to the appearance settings is go to, you can go anywhere. I like to just open a new tab. And then you want to look to the top right for the three dots next to usually your pictures here or if it's blank. But it has three dots at the top of your Google Chrome um, browser. This is um, on my Windows Chrome browser. This is not going to be shown on the app. So just want to throw that out there real quick. So hit three dots. And then when you look down, you're looking for settings. So just going to click on settings. When you do settings, you're going to look to the left menu over here. You're going to look for appearance. Very straightforward. Click on that. And here it is. This is the magic screen. It has a lot of choices here. You can do a lot of, a lot of damage <laughs> to, to your Chrome settings, your appearance. You can change the theme. We're not going to go over that in this, but you have customized your toolbar. That one we will go over. Um, you can change your device here so you can make it light, light dark mode. Um, that's what you can do right there. I like mine light, so I left it at that. And then you can show home button. This is interesting. So you click this, and if you look right up here, the house pops back up. So you can actually have a custom one, but you can mess with that if you want to check that out. But you turn that off, it goes away. See the home up here in the top left went away. Um, you go down a little bit, you can show your bookmark bar. So you can turn that on. The, uh, you'll have a bookmark bar right here. Uh, which is, uh, I don't like having mine on. Um, <laughs> just don't like it there. It looks cluttery. And then you're going to go down to show tab groups and book bar. So you have a lot of these are on uh, automatically pinned new tab groups. So you can change that. There's a lot to play with here. I'm just going to go down through this a little faster than I usually do. Um, we automatically, okay, we are talking about side panel position. So I'll show you that in a minute. And then a few other ones, font size, custom fonts, zoom is 100% right now. So let me show you the customize your toolbar. This one has a lot of settings in it. So we're going to click on that. And then it pulls this bar up. And then this is what your bar looks. So it's looking at this top part right up here. That's the customized appearance right here. So you can have, like I said, your home could be turned on. And there it is right there at the top right there. Turn that on. You can have your incognito guy pop up right here. So you can start doing incognito mode. But obviously we all know that doesn't work. <laughs> so then you can do other things. You can have your password thing pop up. So there's the key password. So you can get straight to the passwords if you need to look up a password. You can do bookmarks. You got a reading list, history. You can, it all appears up at the top. Now this shows you an example. This isn't really, this isn't like a preview area I found out. I thought it was, but it's not. So you go through here, you can reset it to default settings, but you can go down this list of what's going to show up. There's like download. There's a little download thing popped up right here. You can turn those on and off. Um, tools and actions you can do like your printer, which is actually I kind of think printer would be nice to have up here showing up for you. That's a, another option you can do. You can go down through the whole thing. There's quite a few options in here. Now, when I was talking about, if you remember, I talked about the side panel position this is called this is the side panel if you click this little thing here you can switch that to the other side of the screen there now it's on the other side of the screen so that's what that one's about um i like it on the other side because this is going to drive me crazy having on the left side i'm going to go back to the right side i like it on this side so you can mess with that it's really cool in here just to go into the appearance things and you know about themes changing the theme of your google um chrome um, browser you can do that here uh, we can do it to dark mode like I was talking about. Let's see, there's dark mode. I really don't like it on here, but we'll turn it back to light. So there's a lot of lot of options in here. So go in here, mess around. You're going to find some cool things you can tweak in here. But I think the biggest one is the customize your toolbar. 
that's kind of fun. So you can add a bunch of links that you usually have hidden. It makes it quick, a quick um, access to those um, options in your Google Chrome um, toolbar, which is very cool. And you can change, like if you want to change the font size, large, right? It's medium is recommended. Usually you can make it really like here large. And then what it does is it will change when it gets out of here. I don't think it's going to change when I'm in here. No, it's not going to show it here, but just mess around with it. I think it's um, pretty cool. So that's it. That's how easy it is for you to change your Chrome appearance settings um, using the appearance settings um, feature. There you go. Hey, right, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, notification bell. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com. That's where all our articles are. And also make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.